today i'll talk about hospital transfusion committee this is one of my series of lecture on blood banking i have uh, used the resource which is online resource uh, from isbt website and uh, i have taken the entire almost entire content from this website hospital transfusion committee is also known as blood management committee blood transfusion committee or hospital transfusion committee it plays a crucial role in the implementation of national guidelines on the clinical use of blood at the regional local or hospital level the hospital transfusion committee is responsible for ensuring safe transfusion practice and the implementation of patient blood management initiative i will use the short form as pbm for patient blood management the who recommends that a hospital transfusion committee should be set up in each hospital to implement the national policy and guidelines on the clinical use of blood and to monitor the use of blood and blood products at the local level it confirms that the hospital transfusion committee should have authority within the hospital structure to determine hospital policy in relation to transfusion and resolve any problems that have been identified so the chairperson of hospital transfusion committee should have authority within the hospital the hospital transfusion committee or equivalent is a multidisciplinary group that have the overarching responsibility to maintain safe hospital transfusion practice or transfusion risk management the stc or hospital transfusion committee can be established locally for cluster of healthcare providers across affiliated organizations or for private health establishment all the many hospital transfusion committee are based at hospital level so these are various levels of hospital transfusion committee or blood management committee now let us see what is the composition of uh, the committee uh, the suggested composition is uh, it should be it should be uh, it should have an executive management involvement and the chairperson should have an authority within the hospital there should be governance quality or clinical risk management representative there should be representative of major providers for patient blood management practice users of blood and blood products various head of department should be included nursing representative should be there consumer or patient representative should be there there should be a person from the blood bank or transfusion laboratory blood bank manager or senior scientist there should be consultant hematologist and from time to time there may be it specialist pharmacist bioethicist perfusionist or any other person as required the committee should have an agreed terms of reference which should be reviewed at set intervals membership may also need to be re reviewed as staff changes and ideally the committee should meet quarterly or more frequently so let us see what what are the role of stc these are various roles of stc or hospital transfusion committee uh, one is to develop systems for and monitor the implementation of national guidelines within the hospital then develop and regularly review policies procedures and guidelines covering patient blood management and transfusion practice to ensure alignment with national guidelines and standard monitor to see that blood components are used appropriately and administered safely in accordance with national guidelines standards and institutional policies monitor and review blood component wastage and develop strategies for reduction and improvement monitor report investigate transfusion adverse events and near misses and develop strategies for reduction and improvement utilize these examples as educational case studies so this is part of hemovigilance i have a separate lecture on hemovigilance the link is given above ensure a cycle of clinical audit to check 
patient blood management transfusion practice are compliant to national requirement. Set appropriate benchmarks. Lies with blood transfusion services to ensure adequate supply of blood components and undertake strategic planning exercises. Lies between the organization and regularity, regulatory authorities and uh, ensure adequate training and assessment of all staff involved in blood transfusion or management processes. Ensure appropriate education and safety and quality improvement programs are available. Disseminate transfusion related information, example changes to national guidelines, audit results and examples of good practice. Ensure patient blood management initiatives including transfusion alternatives or minimization techniques. Oversee and review component recalls. Include processes to actively involve patient consumers in their care when providing safe blood management. So these are various roles of hospital transfusion committee. Now let us see what are the challenges for hospital transfusion committee. One is attendance. Ensuring adequate and consistent attendance is a struggle that most hospital transfusion committee experience. This may be due to number of factors including voluntary attendance, timings of meetings, clinical commitments, other meetings and commitments, etc. The other challenge is no central guidance or education for these committees and their chair. The other challenge is ongoing professional education of healthcare professionals involved in transfusion. This may be due to high staff turnover or lack of investment time from the trainer. So these are various challenges and uh, now finally uh, we should conclude that the hospital transfusion committee should ensure that transfusion practice related risks are added to hospital risk register or equivalent risk management system of hospital and an annual report is submitted to relevant committees and managers. So once again uh, I must uh, admit that I have taken the almost the entire uh, lecture from the ISBT website. So this is all for today. Thank you very much.